Okay, so good morning. Uh, it's like 5.30 a.m. right now. Feels like these vlogs are always starting really early in the morning. <laughs> um, but usually, it's, if I'm waking up this early, it's usually because something exciting is going on. Uh, and today is definitely no different. So I am on my way to pick up Zach from his apartment. Uh, and then we are beginning a 13 hour drive all the way from Minneapolis to Akron, Ohio for the Blue Coats Alumni Corps. If you didn't know, this year is the Blue Coats 50th anniversary. Uh, and so to celebrate that, they decided to put together an alumni drum corps that will be performing at uh, semifinals night uh, in Indianapolis on DCI finals weekend. We have 400 plus people from around the, the country and, and the world, really, uh, all Blue Coats alumni uh, coming together uh, and we're, we're, we're putting together a show, moving and playing, um, and, and uh, performing some of the Blue Coat's greatest hits, old and new. So it, uh, it should be pretty epic, should be pretty loud, uh, and it should be pretty fun when it's all said and done. So this is actually our second time getting together in person. Um, the first time was over a long 4th of July weekend, and it, and it went a lot better than expected, honestly. As you can probably imagine, you know, with 400 plus people, trying to get everybody in one place with housing and, and, and rehearsal facilities and meals and designing a, a, a full drum corps show for that many people. Uh, it, it, it's quite the logistical challenge, uh, but it, it, it's gone really well so far. And, and I have to give huge props to Jay Wise and everybody with the Blue Coats organization that has been really heading this effort for us and, 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 and allowing it to come to fruition. We still have a lot of work to do though for our performances this week. We still have probably more than half of the drill to learn and a lot of the music we haven't played together in person yet. Just we, we've been able to do some Zoom sectionals but that's about it so um, lots to do this week for sure. First things first though is we got to get this long drive out of the way so let's get to it. What's something you're excited about for this week? And what's something you're nervous about? Oh gosh. Well, I'm just nervous to get everything done. We got a lot to do. I think looking forward to just seeing everybody again. It'd be good to get the whole band together and, I don't know, do the thing a little bit longer. It's kind of fun to relive the glory days a little bit, uh, experience drum corps again. Uh, it, it's, it's like a microdose of drum corps. It's like not as hard and not as long. That's what she said. But uh, it, yeah, it's fun to just like get out in the sun and rehearse kind of all day, every day for a little bit and just focus on, on uh, drumming and drum corps. So we're in Chicago right now, uh, which is about halfway, halfway there to Akron, uh, outside of this uh, Marriott Hotel. Uh, Zach's in the lobby pooping right now. I'm just out here kind of stretching my legs a little bit. Um, feeling good, feeling good. We're getting there. Nice. What, how was your poop? It was great. The, the water was blue and the toilet paper was folded into a point. So, so it, was, it was recently cleaned. It was, it was for first, uh, t uh, yes. Ohio, find it here. What do you think, what do you think it is? Fun, perhaps? Uh, a sense of joy. <laughs> Yeah. All right, holy shit, we made it to Akron, finally. We are just stopping at Walmart really quick uh, before we go to the dorms. 
Shout out uh, Fruit Smiles. Yes, we need to get uh, stock up of those essentials. Zach needs to get his Fruit Smiles. He can't operate uh, without them. He gets crabby, so we need to get those. I want the original one, though, not the tangy, but clearly I can't be picky. The yeah, I don't have any of them. The orange box. Ah. Great value org. Org. 22. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I'll bleep that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep that one out there. All right, we made it to Info Cision Stadium, University of Akron. Uh, we got to go up to the press box to uh, get checked in here. Last name? Uh, Suchia. T-S-U. We're good then. T-S-U. Yeah. Yes, Kyle. Yep. Also 658. Feels good to wear a helmet again. Yeah. to be the uh, member of our room that uses an air mattress. So I'm going to be down here. Even though he's uh, so Charlie nice. Davis will be also joining us in this room. If you don't know Charlie, he watched 16 through 18 on quads. Uh, great dude. Uh, you'll, you'll see him later. <laughs> and yeah, should, we are all set up in here for what should be a good couple of days while we're here at the University of Akron. Um, I am wiped from driving all day, um, so I'm gonna probably actually go to bed. We have a, a, a long couple of days of rehearsal uh, coming up here, so I will see you guys in the morning for first day of rehearsal. Good morning, uh, day one. We're on the beautiful University of Akron campus walking through we have we have access to a dining hall here for our meals so we're gonna go start the day right with some breakfast right now so we're on our way to just grab all of our equipment right now uh, Sounds like we're in subs for most of the day, or at least the, for the first half of the day. Uh, just trying to get the hands moving again and start to drum some of the music again. So should be a good, a good way to start the day. Oh! <laughs> Nineteen snares. One, done. Zach. There's the slides. <laughs> we got section leader Dennis. What Dennis up? Cardi, you marched uh, 98. 98. Then crown too, right? Yeah. We don't have to I mention was, that. <laughs> <laughs> this extended uh, snare feature includes all 19 of us snares. Plus the quads are putting snare drums on uh, to join us for this. Uh, check it out. Give us a tour of this setup here. I hate it here, so. <laughs> Uh, we got the quad bars here. The quad bar, the nice, the 
and our intact thing. I mean, we like it's also slice. not lubed up at all. Oh, nice. We like, it works. It works. We got it. You look great. Hey, no, I don't. So this is what 400 plus people on a field looks like. Pretty sweet. It is hot out here, especially on the turf. So gotta go uh, fill up my jug. I have uh, PTSD at the sight of those ramps. It's cool we're using them again though. Oh, I, thought they were, I thought they were gonna go on. Oh. Yeah, you just look stupid. Now I look like a like a like a f idiot piece. Of All right, can we get a little recap of the day from the boys here? Uh, Charlie, how was your day? It was good. Played a lot of part three and part four. Oh yeah. Got a lot cleaner. We're the cleanest section, so. You know <laughs> Honestly, that might be true. Zach, how was your day? Uh, it's pretty good. I'm wearing better shoes than I did last time. So my feet don't hurt, which is great. Um, yeah, we're feeling all right. Uh, gonna hang out with some friends tonight and uh, just, uh, Take it easy and get drink apple juice. Yeah, gonna drink, gonna drink, drink yeah, apple juice and milk tonight. Uh, and be surely well rested for the day tomorrow. So absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Good morning. We got a Viz block to start the morning. We're learning drill to part four of five for the show. Yeah, I think today we're just basically just focusing on getting part four on the field, which includes electric counterpoint from 2015. Electric bugaloo. Uh, which is fun for me to be able to perform that music again. So, should be a good day. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna nail this, this uh, rep. Nailed it. So for lunch today, they dismissed all 400 plus of us at the same time. So the line at the dining hall is going to be a mess. So we decided to come to Chipotle. I all right, so uh, lunch is over. We have our own little practice field right here. Uh, Charlie's grittying, as you can see. Very cool. Um, yeah, we gotta uh, put the music to the feet. Uh, play and move the drill we learned this morning so that we can do it with the rest of the core in the ensemble tonight.
right, so the junior corps just got here. Uh, and they're, I think the drum line's warming up out in the back somewhere over here, so we're gonna go check them out. So we're getting a little uh, private performance from the junior core right now. Pretty sweet. Very loud. Long day today. A long day. Uh, yeah, we got a, a decent amount done. We ended the night with a couple of uh, spots of uncertainty, I would say, uh, as a full ensemble. Um, but uh, hopefully we uh, are able to clean them up tomorrow morning before we make our debut uh, as the Alumni Corps, uh, marching and playing. So yeah, I am going to shower and go to bed. We're all pretty wiped. We're gonna go to sleep. Gas. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning. It's a show day, which is cool to say. Everything we're performing tonight is on the field. <laughs> uh, it's just not good yet. Uh, so we have a lot of ensemble time this morning to try to fix some of those things. So hopefully we uh, can feel good and not tear at the show tonight. We're done rehearsing for the day. We had a good run through, final run through as a full ensemble without the mat of all everything we're playing tonight at the show. So feeling a lot better about that. We're headed to the dining hall right now. Need to eat dinner, need to shower, need to get changed in uniform, make sure everything's looking good with the helmet and everything. And yeah, should be a fun night. All right, let's get a little fit check here. Is, it a, is this one? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the right one. So uh, I have, we got vipes, vipers on the feet. Uh, navy blue bib. You gotta put your arm up. Uh, uh, I got here. Oh my gosh. This is a original, uh, one of the compression shirts I actually Ooh. used in 2015. And of course you gotta have the sleeve rolled up. Uh, kind of an old blue banger tradition. And... Oh my god. <laughs> sweatpants, uh, to hold the, uh, the sleeves to make sure they're out of the way. And then of course, uh, the pennies here. Uh, feeling good. It's your turn now, sir. Okay. We're on a rain delay. You can see the stands have kind of emptied out a little bit. So, 
we'll see what happens. This, the rest of the show honestly might get canceled, which would be a huge bummer, but yeah, it is what it is. It's an outdoor activity, so. Zach's getting his warm ups in. Pretty bad. Hey! A few moments later. Yeah, there's no way. Sebastian plays drums. That's me. Blue center snare, 2022, killing the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, there's no way we're performing tonight. A few moments later. Okay, update. It's been about an hour, uh, but the rain has stopped, and we're going to do a little standstill performance. The Blue Coats are going to do their show. We're going to do ours. Um, no drill, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's the nature of the beast tonight. So uh, at least we're doing something. <laughs> This is getting to know you guys a little bit. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. We missed the cart. <laughs> Get some rest, y'all. Okay, celebrate. Great performance tonight. Hopefully, that was fun for you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah that was it, was, it was a blast for us. It was the rain. It was just it was a moment. The, the lightning. Yeah. It was, yeah. Just, it, it was, it was such a chosen thing. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. All right. Show is over. Actually, it was really fun. Um, Junior Corps was able to watch us uh, right in front of us the whole time, and they were hyping us up. So uh, it was definitely really cool. Really special night for all of us, I think. Um, and a good, you know, first show, despite the circumstances. You know, it's still raining out, and, and uh, we made it work. So tomorrow we are finishing learning the show, uh, learning the drill for the closer. Um, and then we're actually done for the day. We, we uh, have the rest of the afternoon and evening to travel to Indianapolis, uh, where we'll be, we will be finishing uh, the week uh, there, obviously, because DCI Finals is there. So uh, gonna finish learning drill tomorrow morning and then uh, should have a fun little afternoon and evening uh, hanging out with some friends. So yeah, it's a good night. 
Okay, so uh, this is supposed to be footage from Tuesday, August 9th, but it's not. This is me at home, uh, and I'm interjecting here because I lost all of my footage from that day. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it was a bad day. Uh, it, it's more funny now, uh, now that it's after the fact, but it did not feel great at the time. We had a nice rehearsal in the morning, uh, and then the rest of the alumni corps got on buses and went to a place called Gervasi Vineyard to hang out and enjoy each other's company. I, however, had my car, so we could kind of do whatever we wanted with our free time. Um, so I hit up my buddy Tristan, and huge shout out to Tristan. He's a member of the Cedar Point Drumline, uh, absolutely killing it. And uh, he hooked us up with some tickets to go ride roller coasters at Cedar Point. So me, Zach, Charlie, and our friend Hikari piled in my car and, and we drove to Sandusky, Ohio, where Cedar Point is. And it's also uh, conveniently located in between Akron and Indianapolis. So it's kind of on the way. It's been on my bucket list to go to Cedar Point for a long time. Uh, they, they have some of the best roller coasters in the world there. And so I was hyped. I was really excited to be there. The second roller coaster we went on was a ride called Gatekeeper. Really awesome ride. But when I stood up to get off the ride, I checked my pockets and my phone, along with all of the footage that I had taken that day, was gone. We were able to pull it up on Find My iPhone and, and we looked all around, but it, it seemed to be located in a uniquely bad, unfortunate spot where nobody could get to it. Certainly not while the park was open. And we couldn't wait around until after the park closed for somebody to maybe be able to go look for it because we had a four hour drive ahead of us and we needed to get checked into our hotel in Indy. So I, I was kind of out of luck, but we were able to make the most of the situation. We just went on a couple more rides, including Steel Vengeance, which is arguably the best roller coaster in the world. And then we made the trek all the way to Indianapolis safely. And uh, thankfully Zach agreed to wake up with me a little early the next morning so that he could navigate me to the nearest Verizon store where I had to buy a new phone. Hey guys, it's me. There's Kyle. He doesn't have a phone right now. Yeah. So we're both gonna go to the Verizon store of the greater Indianapolis area and get one. He's gonna get one. I'm gonna tell him how to get there. Good stuff. Hi everybody. So interesting day yesterday. Uh, did, we were able to go to the Verizon store this morning. I got a new phone. Uh, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> I was kind of due for an upgrade anyway, so. We're at Lucas Oil Stadium right now, as you can see. The gang's all here. Uh, it's weird to be back here um, on the field again. So we should, we have a long rehearsal day here today, all day. Everything's learned. We're not learning anything new today. We're just trying to get better and uh, get this thing feeling good in this environment uh, for Friday, so. So back in 2016, finals night, it was raining. So we rehearsed where we warmed up in a room just like this. lunch right now uh, we already ate so we're just walking through uh, Indianapolis right now we have like a really long like five hour block this afternoon we're not eating dinner until 8 30 I think so uh, trying to get some some Gatorade and some snacks to help uh, tide me over until then it's home. I've been needing it. that's not bad there's like one rib
pretty, pretty f***ing loud. On the bus, uh, we're sitting in the back of the bus, which is fine, except for the fact that the back of the bus sucks. Um, I'd like to politely disagree. Uh, we're headed to Indiana Wesleyan University today to rehearse, um, which is cool because that is uh, traditionally where the Blue Coats have had their finals week rehearsals. Um, all those cool on the field battery camera videos that you've seen are, are at this on this campus. Uh, and when we get there, we have we have like a meeting when we get there. I think I think we're getting our pennies. Um, and if you don't know, the blue coats have this tradition: uh, you get a penny uh, on your to add to your shoelace uh, every year that you march. And we're getting some with, for the alumni court, which is pretty cool. Um, and then yeah, we're rehearsing uh, the rest of the day there. We did our, our, our first full run of everything last night, uh, which was great to get everything out there. There was uh, there was some shakiness. There was some uh, ensemble tears uh nothing major but um, hopefully we can get those worked out today so we're feeling good for tomorrow you gotta show show them the shirt you got <laughs> hell yeah very nice let's see it yeah i got i got this one also um this i never had spring training here but uh Obviously, we were rehearsed here for finals week uh, every year that I marched, so it's a special place in my heart, so I had to get a little shirt to wear uh, as a little souvenir. How are you feeling, Dennis? Feeling good. A little bit more? Good. Feeling old. I have to take a second here to give a quick shout out to my friend and current Blue Coats Junior Corps uh, percussion section leader, uh, Sebastian. He reached out to me about getting the Alumni Corps percussion section involved in this year's uh, Blue Bangers jerseys. If you're unfamiliar, uh, every year, I think since 2012, um, the Blue Coats drumline has uh, gotten matching uh, basketball jerseys that have like the Blue Coats logo on the front. Um, the year on the back, they say blue bangers on them. Um, and the color of the jersey is, it has usually has some sort of significance, uh, whether that's to the show or to the year or whatever. Um, and yeah, they, uh, Sebastian reached out and, and was excited about uh, getting the alumni uh, the same jerseys that they that they get this year. Um, and I just got word that we're, we're gonna be getting them pretty soon here. So shout out to Sebastian for, for making that happen. Um, I'm excited to add another Bangers jersey to my collection for sure. All right, now for the next segment. Uh, where in the world is Bill? Hey, everybody! <laughs> Let me show you some tricks. Wow. <laughs> All right, for Heyju. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? That was pretty sweet, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're gonna wanna keep that. <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. We're out here. It's a beautiful day. It's semifinals day. Well, it's finals day for us. Semifinals day for everybody else. We performed tonight. Uh, we had a pretty special run through last night. Uh, I feel like everybody's finally comfortable and uh, committed to the show now. Um, so yeah, should be a good day today. We have a little bit of rehearsal and then it's showtime. Got my gold plated penny. Blue Cuts alumni core pennies. Pretty sweet. All right, so the bangers jerseys are in. Uh, they're pretty sick. Blue bangers, 50th. Uh, you can see the front here too, uh, kind of. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice baby blue color. It's pretty sweet. Shout out once again to Sebastian for getting us into these. The final ensemble rehearsal. Tim, Holly, Feeling good. Yeah, so a pretty, pretty special night, a special week, really, and just a, a really meaningful experience overall. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I my expectations were really low <laughs> going into it. I was just initially just there to hang out with some old friends and, and have some fun. But yeah, man, it, it really, it really turned into an emotional, rewarding experience. And I wasn't really expecting that just you know to be a part of a group of that many people from around the world you know coming together fully committed to the blue coast organization and putting the best possible product out there there's just something about the the collective nature of all of that that made it really powerful i think for all of us and then of course to see the crowd go absolutely nuts you know especially when we did the the pitch bend at the end there um that was awesome it, it, it was it was really cool to experience that again hi max you want to say hi everybody say hi to max he is a good boy and he loves being on camera don't you yeah love you buddy so the next day was zci finals day of course i didn't film a whole lot but the fun certainly continued we 
figured out that we were actually only five minutes away from where the blue coats were rehearsing that day. So we hopped in my car, hung out with them in the morning. Yeah. And everybody say hi. Hi. We got a full <laughs> car. We even got there in time for Zach to play drum set for the B line. So best finals day tradition, blue coats do is uh, yeah, B-Line, so like, right, where everybody <laughs> switches instruments for a warm-up exercise. And an another part of that uh, that they've done the past couple years is that they have a pass, center, snare, uh, play the drum set uh, for the warm-up. And Zach has yet to do it, so Zach is gonna do it this year. Be sure to check out the full video of the B-Line. Uh, the link is down in the description. Then we went downtown to catch their warm up at Military Park, and then we rushed over to the stadium to watch the last couple of shows, and then, of course, the announcement of scores as well. The Fred Sanford Award for Best Percussion Performance, presented by DCI Hall of Fame member Pete Emmons, goes to the Blue Coats. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, we were we were pretty hyped. It was just a nice kind of cherry on top of the whole week. I feel like I have so many people to thank. Every every member, staff, volunteer, everyone in the Blue Coats organization really just, you know, little did I know back when I walked into my first Blue Coats audition. Oh God, it was almost 10 years ago now. Jesus Christ. Little did I know how many opportunities just being associated with the Blue Coats would unlock for me you know, including being a part of this badass alumni corps. And uh, I'm just, I'm just really thankful. And I'm especially thankful for you. If you're still watching this after this long, dang, that's dedication. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, etc. It means a lot to me and uh, it helps keep you motivated to continue making these videos. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.